Hello and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. My name is Mohammed from Motion Time YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you camera and scene environment override settings in Corner Render Engine for Cinema 4D. Subscribe to Motion Time YouTube channel if you want to see more tutorials like this and other motion graphic tutorial every week. In Corona Scene Environment settings first section called Scene Environment. In here you can set a custom scene environment and it will override any currently used native Cinema 4D environment. Let's give it a try. If we check this option and add a new HDRI to it, our HDRI scene will change to this new HDRI that we provided. And we can always change the settings for HDRI here. Next part is environment override, direct visibility, reflection, and refraction override, which is used to enable custom environment maps. For example, if you give a material with this GRI texture to override the whole environment, your environment will be changed to this new texture that you provided. But if you want just to see the different environment as your background, but having no change in your scene, lighting, you can use direct visibility override to do that. If you check this option and uh, add a share to it, our environment will be changed, but in our scene, everything remains the same. As a refractions, refractions, and anything that projected from the HDRI. You could also use a reflection override and refraction override to change maps that projected in them separately. If we check a reflection override and we add our HDRI to it, the reflected map in our glossy material will change. And if we have a glassy material and we add our environment to it, our glassy material will change. because this is overriding our refraction. If you want to change our global volume for our scene, we can check global volume option and if we add a global material to it, our entire scene's volume will change to our new volume material. If you want to know how any of these effects work, we will explain it in another tutorial soon. But if you need to know it right away, make sure that you comment below and let me know. That's all for today's Corner Engine tutorial. Like the video if you learned something new and check out other tutorials and assets in our channel. Have a motion day.